Hello and welcome to My Backyard Table Talks, where we come in out of the yard to discuss different topics or different ideas for doing photography. Today we'll be talking about five different ways to get out there and start selling. No more excuses. But first, cue my intro. I love a good cup of coffee. So first thing, before we get started, a little bit of background story for you. See, I fell in love with photography at the age of 10, and it would stay with me, and I would love taking photos, whether it be out on my parents' boat, taking pictures of whales, or taking pictures of the dog. It would, didn't matter to me as long as I had a camera in my hand. And that would stay with me until I went to high school, and I found a real love for photography. And my first camera that I owned, the Canon AE-1. And I would continue to shoot with Canon until today even. By the way, Canon does not sponsor me to say so. I just happen to like their cameras. But moving on, I was told that I could never make it as a photographer. That I couldn't do anything but work with my hands. So that's what I did. Photography just became something to do, a, a hobby. And I went to work, working, doing different jobs, like building trusses and working in a mill. It wasn't until I became ill with a neurological illness and my wife got me my first DSLR, which was just a Rebel XS was my first camera that I started with. But I would take that and it pushed me out of being stuck in the house, depressed, with anxiety and not wanting to go out or do anything. This might not necessarily just be for photographers. It might be for all artists. So I don't care if you have a pen and a pencils or you have paint or you have a camera. Getting yourself out there and getting yourself moving creating what you love that's the ticket living through what you like to do and making yourself happy and making money at it if you so desire so the first thing i have for you is entering contest now i'm sure you can see the seal picture behind me on my monitor that picture there is my first ever award-winning photo and I won it in a contest for BC Ferries that won me an all-expenses-paid trip up to the Coots Mateen to go see Grizzly Bears, which is just south of Alaska in BC, which was an amazing trip. And it really honed my love for photography and for nature because my grandfather loved Robert Bateman and... I got to shoot photos that people compared to paintings and it's just, and that's been amazing for me. Another type of contest that you can enter is like for a fall fair. There is a ribbon right here behind me that is from the fall fair that I entered in a photo of my father-in-law and it won best photo for people. Yeah, it wasn't a lot of money, but still the recognition of even having my work displayed was so much fun that it just got me pumped to do more. Number two I have for you is selling your stuff at markets. It might seem like small potatoes, farmer's markets, potatoes, uh, but in all seriousness of it, it's a great way to meet new people and talk to people that might be interested in your brand or your type of photography. For instance, I have cards to sell so that people can wish somebody well. And I have small prints like this 
that people can buy or they can ask for different types of framework and I could do a framed photo for them. You just never know where those roads are going to go. Number three I have for you is make yourself a web page. If you don't have one, make one. Make one for whatever your art form is. Here, come take a look at mine. It's no perfect example of what a website should be, but I built it myself. I'm proud of it. It does what it's supposed to do. Here, come, I'll show you. So, here's my website. Now, as you can see at the top here, I've chosen Wix.com uh, as my website builder. Now, it doesn't have to be done with Wix, and once again, I'm not sponsored by Wix to be saying so. I just chose them as a platform because I liked what they had to offer. So first off, in the categories, I have VO Photography up top, and here it says Bio. So Bio, it, people can find out about me, contact information, how, my love for photography, for instance. And then, so second, it says portfolio, and you can see basically just a collection of different images that I've taken over the course of the years of me doing photography. And next in the category, you have wildlife and nature, because I have such a love for wildlife. That's where most of my time for photography is spent. Next, we have family photography. Animals are wonderful, and I love doing animal photography, but animals don't pay the bills, unfortunately. Uh, people do, and some people buy animal photos, but you need a little bit more than that most of the time. So with family photography, it, doing baby shots or family photos, it's another great way to put yourself out there. Uh, next, we have weddings. I haven't been doing a lot of weddings lately, but I do do them if I'm asked. So here's another great example of uh, just different weddings that I've attended and taken photos for. And everyone has been uniquely different and an amazing experience with them all. Next, engagement photos. I did photos for friends of mine at our church, and it was when he proposed to her, so I have those up there as well. So next I have event photography, and this is just different events that I've gotten to take part at, whether it be a soccer game or a bike ride to raise money for a nonprofit or doing wrestling photos. They've all been very unique experiences, and it just shows for the different types of work that I've got to do. And then last, we have still life photography. Now, this is just a collection of different stuff that I've taken while I was out at the fairgrounds or uh, bubbles on glass. Once again, that's another table talk that I'm going to have to do. Or soap bubbles or different car photos, lighthouses. It's just things that were still life that I enjoyed and took pictures of. So this is my website. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you see, you can uh, find the link down below to get to my website and have a look at it for yourself. Okay, we're down to number four now. And with number four, I have make yourself an ad. It can be an ad for what kind of photography you have or what you're trying to sell. Or like this ad that I have on Facebook. It's letting people know what you're interested in taking photos of. And you might want to promote yourself to a special deal for, say, Christmas time. Which brings me to number five. And number five is pick up your camera, your pencils, your pens, your paints, whatever you have, pick it up, go outside, and start taking 
photos. Start painting. Start doing whatever art form it is that you want to do. But do it. Which kind of makes me think of another idea for a table talk. And that is using the gear you have. Whether it's a phone or a DSLR. Get out there and get shooting with whatever you have. So let me tell you now. The next table talk will be on cameras. And what camera you have. Whether it be a phone, a pocket camera, or a DSLR. Whatever you have, get out and start using it. That'll be next time on Table Talks. So, I'm Darren Lebuke. This was My Backyard Table Talks. Remember, like, subscribe, share if you want to share. Comments are down below. And we'll see you in the next video.